Last time. My master has abandoned me. Might as well check out this Pelagius wing. Who knows what I'll find? Wow, this place is a wreck. What's happening? Party, Pelly, my dear. Why am I naked? So before Shiogarath gets into monologuing, he talks a lot. Welcome. My idea here was part zero. I'm doing the prequest, which is Mind of Madness, and Saints and Seducers, the original CZ. For comparison's sake, it's not very good. It's not very long. Just a little jaunt. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Oh, I couldn't. It goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance? Sing? Smile? Ha! <laughs> grow old? You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho oh, ho ho, and the cheese to die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph! Well then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best not take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Well, clearly I've lost my mind. Might as well have some tea and pie. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. This is, of course, everybody's favorite cheese man. Who are you talking to? Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius' decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. Wait, where are we? Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? Ah, I'm here to deliver a message. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke, but seriously, what's the message? I was asked to retrieve you from your vacation. Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? What? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandes? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! No matter! Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You do realize who you're dealing with here. Oh, don't tell me. Let me guess. The real Baron Zaya? Bellathor's sister? Uh, just a mad ram. Jolly good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. THE mad god, actually. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you, you can call me Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being flayed alive and having an angry immortal skip rope with your entrails. If not, then call me Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness. Charmed. Yeah, I figured as much. So you gonna leave? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. That seems too easy. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. 
makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabajack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Uh, gee. Thanks. Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead. Pumpernickel! But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Oh, he was so small I couldn't even see him because of the big grass. Couldn't see who the huge dude was doing kung fu on. I knew it. Never should have come here. Here we go. I knew it. My money is on the. Wonderfully done! Like Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. Alright, that works, I guess. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Hopefully he's not also afraid of goats. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. This isn't really much of a puzzle, you know, just blast everybody with the wabajack. That would be really hilarious to adopt young Pelagius. to get you so terribly entertaining <laughs> you might find it less so you see Pelagius's mother was well let us say unique although I suppose in the grand scheme of things she was fairly average for a septum that woman wielded fear like a cleaver or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid I never get that part right Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, but they do the same. Yeah, well, I've done this before. You'd never figure it out! With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of. And we're that much closer to home. I 
have a say in. I'm not going to feel what you have to like. Or something like that. I didn't. I solved your Pelagius puzzle. He's fixed. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septim the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? Faster! You've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta! So, um, how do I get... Oh! Wow, whoever keeps dressing me is really having fun here. So help me, if you point that thing at me and turn me into a sweet roll, I will make sure you die of indigestion. What do you think I would taste like if I were turned into a sweet roll? It's only hypothetical. Don't get any ideas. Huh. Bet you'd taste sweeter than you taste now. I don't know where Val actually is, so I'm just gonna bring him to me. Am I still wearing the hat? Wait, I don't wanna know. Just... You take it. Take it! Ah, <sighs> thank Azura you're alive! Ready to go? Yeah, let's get out of here. What the heck was that? Wow. This is some unusual foliage. This should definitely not be here. It looks like it opens to a deeper cave of some kind. I think I'm going to back up. And go get some backup. Huh. Hey, Sirk. Something I've been meaning to ask you about came right up and slapped me in the face. All right, have a seat. How can I help you? Name it. First request is easy. Tell me where you got the ore for that armor and hammer. Actually, it's a harrowing tale of Daring Do. The height of the Sidnu squad. Hold on a second. You're saying it was just in the hands of a bunch of bandits? Well, yeah. That's not the end of the story, though. Well, okay. Hopefully this isn't a letdown. Hopefully it's not one of those quests where the guy says, It's all daring is note. I hate those. It's like, when did everybody get crippling social anxiety? I know. I'm pretty intimidating, but... Do you want to hear the story or not? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, so it's Saturalia. This is before the whole Sadri affair. How can I assist, hmm? We just fought some bandits. Have you guys been having trouble on the road? Vivian it is unconditional. A very beautiful brain. She must be a bitch or something. That has to be the reason. Hi, Gilles. I missed you. This is, of course, my post-commentary from present day, as I guess I was not in a talking mood when I did this originally. 
So he's writing about a group of bandits called the Saints. And since I've already gotten the Saints, I've got to go find the seducers. The job's done. Be on your guard. Should we go shopping? Do you have to go case? No. This is not nearly as interesting as you claimed. Skip to the part where you know something about the sewers under Solitude. Oh, the sewers? Yeah, there's some crazy growth down there. Now you'd hear of man. If you're interested, travel. Trouble ahead. You're dead, fucker. I'll put you out of your fucking. Jeez, Galessa's quite the mouth on her, doesn't she? Kinda like you. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> There is so much of that that just doesn't add up. Such as? Like, why was the dude naked? How should I know? You'd think he would be wearing some of the cool armor. There was a ton of madness ore in those tunnels, which is how I made the equipment. Uh, that makes sense. What was he trying to do? That, I also don't know. But I grabbed the sword of Jigalag from the pedestal. And later, when I got out of the Imperial prison, it was in the Bruma treasury. But it came back to me even before I raided it. Yeah, Daedric artifacts tend to go where they want. They have a little bit of their patron in them, and each have their own proclivities and rules. Like how the skeleton key can only be stolen by a better thief, but not taken by force, unless the target is dead. Still got the sword? No. Let's when I came back to Skyrim, I got a letter. Go. Ended up being a golden saint who wanted the sword back. Speak quickly. Here's the sword you requested. I don't particularly want it anyway. I suppose thanks are in order. Wow, what an ungrateful woman. My thoughts, exactly. Everything seemed like it was all wrapped up in a nice bow.
So what did you see? Well, the underground growth hasn't gone away. Somebody even built a door over it to keep the bug things in. And Solitude is having earthquakes. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if this has anything to do with Sheogorath ending his extended vacation. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I do have a theory. What's that? This Thorin guy was certifiably crazy, it seems. Who do you think he worshipped? Probably Sheogorath. And he probably went to New Sheoth when he died. So what you're thinking is... If Sheogorath is just on his way home now, this Thoron guy has had months to make trouble in Sheoth. And he probably snagged the Sword of Jigalag and went back to his old tricks. Damn! We should investigate! Hell yeah! Classic Cirque and Istana Adventure. Let's go, baby. Then they cut down the greedy old thief as he strode... So was that orc singing about you? Yeah, he's looking for big stories. Heard you were having some fun with Maven. Yeah, well, she's actually all right. Those are super annoying. I'm probably gonna skip a lot of those. In the video, that is. Excellent work. He's like double green now. Is that the gold chick? I mean, I think so. I've only ever seen one of them. Tell me why I should not kill you where you stand. Uh, you don't ask myself that same question from time to time. What? Wait. You must be... Yes. You are the mortal who aided Lord Sheogorath. Say what? Just how many Daedric princes do you know now, anyway? Charmed. Yeah, I helped him out with old Pelly. Yes. You survived Pelagius' madness, which makes you especially resilient for a mortal. Yeah, I'm Distana. What's your name and why are you here, Golden Girl? My name is Sada, of the Orioles. I'm a guardian of the Shivering Isles and the favored servant of the Prince of Madness. For centuries, the Isles have been home to the Asylum, a realm that serves as a prison for my lord's enemies. But the Mad God's absence, and the chaos that has resulted in the years since, gave the prisoners the opportunity they needed to start a riot. The guards have been slain, and the exiles threatened to escape and wreak havoc. I have been tasked with restoring stability to the asylum. How did the riot start? One of the exile prisoners, a battle mage named Thorin, God managed to win oh, the loyalty of both of the main prisoner groups. We have always encouraged them to turn on each other instead of their jailers. Short-sighted as they are, they take the bait. Unfortunately, Thorin was clever enough to remind them of their common enemy. Us. While Lord Sheogorath was away, he and his followers took the guards by surprise, overwhelming our forces. Now, the exiles grow closer to escape by the minute. So what did most of the prisoners do to earn their punishment, anyway? Most turned against the Mad God during the Grey March, an attack on the Isles that last occurred centuries ago. These deviants betrayed our lord, and were exiled to the asylum for their treason. So do you need our help? The only ones left guarding the asylum are Dylora, the commander of the Mazkin, and myself. We cannot be everywhere at once. We require aid if we are to protect the asylum and break Thorin's riot at the same time. 
If you survived the journey through the route to reach me, you may be worthy of this task. I ask that you travel with me to the Asylum, stop Thorin, and restore peace to the Isles, before the Exiles manage to reach your realm. You in, Sirk? Let's do this. You are about to be given a rare honor, mortal. Follow then, into the Isles. Seems like a good place to stop. This is kind of a fun, interesting way to do this. Show Mind of Madness and the original Saints and Seducers, which I heavily made fun of. And now on to the mod, which is actually pretty fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time.